all hands on deck. In the region of New England, there are six states, which are Connecticut, Maine, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, and Vermont. The trains enjoy working hard in New England because Boston is the unofficial capital city and the trains are really useful by pulling passengers, freight, and gender service to wherever they need to go to be really useful indeed. Amtrak works hard in New England too because it works with MBTA, CSX, and other railroads. CSX is a special freight railroad on the west, on the east coast of North America because they go, their headquarters are located in Jacksonville, Florida, which the trains are really useful on the tracks to be really useful indeed to whatever products they deliver to be really useful to wherever they're going to make money for the whole country. But because of the products the trains deliver in all three countries, they are really useful indeed while they pull their loads and be really useful to whatever things they deliver that is really special for Chief Wiggum's Railroad. <sighs> One early morning, Sally was taking a party of students to the Boston Museum of Science to see a special movie about CSX and BNSF. The children were excited too while they steamed along with their train. Now that all the passengers have got off, Chief Wiggum said, I'd like you to go to the yard and meet four engines today. They are Greshi, Greddy, Gomzi, and Wangi, added Fally, and she steamed out of the yard to meet the four engines. Over in Ayer, Massachusetts, there were, there were lots of engines. My name's Wangy, said one. I'm Gonzi, and I'm Greddy. And my name is Greshy, said the big engine. Nice to meet you, of course, they said. Before long, Greshy shunted the freight cars and slowly into place. And she steamed into the countryside. I love going through countrysides, Greshy said, because I'm a real useful engine while I do my work. She was working on the Framingham Worcester line. Because the train tracks are adjacent to the highway, which is a new word called Drusillet. <sighs> The gates went down, and Greshy steamed over the crossing. Over in the siding ahead, Norris the man train was waiting for Greshy to pass. I'm sure things will be fine, he said, but little did he know that the points were misaligned in the wrong direction, but Greshy was fast approaching. Norris's crew jumped clear and Rushy's driver slammed on the brakes, but it was too late! Shh. 
Luckily, there was no one hurt or worse, but the train stayed upright, and they were derailed. Sorry, Norris, Greshy said. I didn't see you there. No worries, Norris said. You just can't smash into me like that next time. There was nothing to worry about, said Loxy. And I'm working on the Framingham Worcester line today. So the train tracks are adjacent to the highway. They are, Loxy said. That made Greshy feel better. After the wreck was cleaned up, the line was reopened and the trains were being really useful once more to make up for the wreck. Even though how recent that crash was, we can only hope that something like that is not repeated in the future.